Well, it certainly is time to soak it up. Enjoy it now. The beautiful fall colors across Quebec and New Brunswick, two provinces that really put on a show. And I'm telling you to enjoy it now because some intense rainfall and some very strong winds are greeting you over this Thanksgiving long weekend. And it certainly is going to change the landscape a little bit. And it's going to make that leaf drop a little earlier for many regions. Meteorologist Rhythm Reed joins us right now. And Rhythm, let's talk about Philippe, the remnants of this storm moving into Atlantic Canada. We also have a system out of Ontario into Quebec. That's bringing some dramatic weather into Montreal. There certainly is a lot going on, but for folks in Atlantic Canada, when we talk about tropical storms, you know, there is a lot of heightened concern, some anxiety as well. So first, let's start by comparing Lee and Philippe and what we know about the two storms. Yeah, so with Lee, we know it was coming in as a Category 1 storm. When we did have Lee originally, it was the strongest storm within the Atlantic for this year. And when we take this comparison within the satellites, we see how concentrated Lee is how widespread it is whereas Philippe much more widespread broken up within the shear as well and if we take a look at the track between the two now Lee had a category 5 strength as it was going through those warm waters whereas Philippe took its really sweet time trying to get up to a a tropical storm and eventually did get downgraded to a post-tropical storm yesterday. Lee kind of made a straight targeted path. Lee knew what it wanted, whereas Philippe kind of danced around the Atlantic, right? F Philippe really was like, <laughs> should I become a tropical storm? Should I not? I'm going to, I'm going to see. <laughs> now, both of these storms though, bringing heavy, high impact into Atlantic Canada. We saw Lee, of course, at the start of September, Philippe now coming in this weekend, strong winds, heavy rainfall. We're we're going to see all of the intense, impactful weather really more characteristic of a strong fall storm. So let's break it down now in terms of the energy that we're seeing moving into this region. Yeah, so with this, what we have is we're going to have a collision of two systems. So the one that's currently over Quebec, that's a slow moving low that's not really wanting to budge. And the second system, which is bringing up those remnants of Philippe, that is going to collide with the original low, bringing strong wind gusts all the way down to Montreal and even in through areas of Atlantic Canada. Now we'll take a look at Atlantic Canada first because they will be having the impact as we go into the the evening of Saturday. Strong wind gusts can be expected all the way from Halifax up to Charlottetown for Sunday morning and up towards the Gas Bay area as well. We don't see any major concerns when it comes to storm surge. However, we can get to see a little bit of minor coastal flooding. Similar story within Montreal. We will get to see those strong winds in across Sunday afternoon for those areas. So that's another difference here too is where Philippe really making a big impact into Quebec where Lee didn't do as much. And then for folks in Newfoundland, Philippe not having a big impact at all. So let's take a look at the rainfall now because the rain starting tonight just off the coast of Nova Scotia and that'll be some pretty heavy rainfall through the overnight. Exactly. And we're going to take a look at Quebec as well. So Quebec, those rainfall totals that we see, those 100 plus, well, those are the uh, two systems combining from today up until Monday as well. A little bit of that rainfall has fallen overnight as well. But for area in Atlantic Canada, well, that is going to be all of the low that's coming up with the remnants of Philippe. Looking at rainfall totals anywhere between 30 to 50 millimeters. All right, Rhythm, thanks for joining us this morning. All hands on deck as we track the remnants of Philippe heading through eastern Canada. It certainly will bring a rocky long weekend.